Hi there this is Gaurav from Neat Designs and today we are going to see how to dynamically animate an image using the CSS variable so without any further ado let's get started so in my editor i have this markup.html file open and i have already created this basic html template and also linked our css file and javascript file as well okay so let's start to create our markup so first of all let's create a div with the class of input wrapper input dash wrapper uh, which will hold our inputs and labels so first of all i am going to create a label and an input and i am going to change the type to range min value to 0 max value to 360 uh, because we are going to rotate our image from 0 degrees to 360 degrees okay and uh, let's set the default value to 10 so it will get rotated by 10 degrees in the start okay and let's set the id of x on this first input button and also map this id to our label so let's set that for attribute to x okay so now let's copy this stuff and paste it two times and for second label we are going to change the id to y and rest is going to be same and for the third label we are going to change the for value to z and also id of input to z as well okay so now let's add an image so first let's create a div with a class of image dash box and inside that let's create a image tag and for the source let's map our image dot jpg file in it okay and we don't need this alt attribute so let's get rid of that so let's see what we have got in the browser so as you can see we have got these three inputs and our image is very big so that's why we are unable to see the full image so let's style this page with css so let me resize these windows okay so first of all let's create some variables so i am going to target the root element so we can globally access our variables so to create a variable what we need to do is we need to type two dashes first and then the variable name in this case x and we need to set the default value of it so in this case i am setting it to 10 degrees okay so let's copy this and paste it two times so the second variable is going to be y and third is going to be z okay and also let's add the text in our label so the first variable will say rotate x because the first input is going to rotate that image on the x axis so the rotate x and by default we have the value of 10 so let's say 10 degree and let's copy this thing and paste it on the other labels and for the second label rotate y because we are going to rotate the image using the second input on the y axis and for the third label rotate z okay so let's save that as you can see our label are appeared in the browser so now let's target our body and let's set some basic style on it so let's set the background of it to f7 fff7 okay and width is going to be 40 viewport width 40% of the viewport width height will be 100 vh okay and let's set the overflow of hidden so our content will be maximum of 100 vh and let's set the margin to 0 and auto so it will be 0 on top and bottom and auto on each side let's set the padding of 50 pixels and 0 on side let's set the font family to helvetica noia and sans serif as our fallback font okay so now let's target that image first so we can see our image so image dash box and that img tag so let's set the width of it to 100% and height to auto so it will maintain its aspect ratio and let's give it a border of let's say 10 pixels solid light sea green which is a beautiful color let's add a box shadow so zero on the horizontal zero on the vertical 10 pixels of spread and for the color let's add 000 which is black color 
and 0.5 for the opacity okay and let's set the box sizing to border box so it won't exceed the 100% of its width so now let's target that input wrapper which is the div which is holding our inputs and labels so let's give it a margin bottom of 50 pixels okay and now let's target our input so input dash wrapper and input so let's display them as a block so they will take their own space and let's set the width to 50 percent okay and let's say margin of 12 pixel on top auto on each sides and 36 pixels on bottom okay and let's set the text align to center so our label will be horizontally centered let's change the cursor to pointer on our inputs okay and now let's target our labels so let me copy this selector and paste it here and let me replace the input with the labels okay so let's change the color of it to this beautiful color of hot pink and let's bump up the font size to 22 pixels so now let's use our variables in this transform function so let's say transform rotate x so to use a variable what we need to do is uh, we have already defined our variables in this root element okay so to use them what we need to do is first we need to use this keyword of war and then round brackets and then the name of the variable so dash dash x okay so let me save this so we have rotated it by 10 degrees but we won't see it because it's a 3d effect and to enable 3d space we need to add the perspective of any property on this body so it will have a 3d space and we can see that rotate x okay so now let's use the other variables as well so rotate y again the same war keyword round brackets dash dash and y okay and for the z let's say rotate z and again var round bracket dash dash variable name okay so as you can see we have got this uh, rotate effect on our image but we want to control that rotation using these sliders okay so now let's have some fun with our javascript so let me open this file called function.js so i have already created this immediately invoked function expression uh, which will run immediately after the creation you can search this term called iife on google and have a deeper understanding of it okay so uh, let me create some variables here so first of all let's create some variables so let's use this keyword war and let's say inputs okay and we are going to say document dot query selector all uh, which will select all the inputs so let's say dot input wrapper which is the wrapper for our input and labels and we are going to say descenders input okay so only the direct child of input wrappers okay and let's give it a comma and let's enter and also capture our image so image is equals to document dot query selector and again the image dash box div and then the image tag okay so let me save this so to control the animation using these sliders we need to add the event listener on these inputs okay so let's do that so now let's target our inputs using this variable of inputs and let's use the for each method on it which will loop through on each input and we will pass this parameter of input and then the arrow function and then input dot add event listener of change and then the callback function of animate okay so whenever our inputs will change their values uh, we are going to call this animate function okay and i'm seeing here a typing mistake so let's fix that first so we don't have any troubles later on so let's define that animate function here so now let's create a variable called property uh, which will create a css variable for us so we need to add these two dashes in this single quote plus this dot 
id okay so let me explain what's happening in this line of code so we have created a property variable and we are prepending these two dashes to this this dot id okay and what this dot id is so we have used for each method to loop through on our inputs and then we have added a event listener of change on our input so uh, let me say console dot log and this dot id okay let me save this and open our inspector in our browser and let me change one of this slider so as you can see this will give us the id of this sliders okay and we have prepended these two dashes in front of those ids okay so basically we are creating these variables uh, in javascripts okay and now let me get rid of this console log so now let's use this document dot document element which returns the root element of the document which is html and we are going to set the inline style on the html tag and then style dot set property and then we are going to use this variable of property and then we are going to set the variable of to this dot value and then we are going to append the degrees unit or uh, to that value okay so uh let me explain a bit what's happening here so first of all uh, we are selecting the html tag here so document dot document element will return the root element of the document which is html okay so let me show you this by creating a variable of a is equals to document dot document element and let me console log this okay and let's save it and let's move on to our browser and let's open our inspector so as you can see it uh, returns the whole html documents okay so that's the document dot document element part okay and let me resize this and then we are using this style to uh, set the inline styles on the html tag let me open this inspector and let me change the value of these inputs so as you can see we have changed the values of the three uh, inputs okay and basically it's capturing those ids and we are prepending two dashes here okay and we are setting it to the this dot value meaning that uh, whichever input changes its value please return that value and set it to this variable okay so as you can see we are able to rotate this image uh, using these sliders so first of all i am seeing issue here so if i rotate this image like this and we are unable to see our third slider okay so to fix that what we need to do is we need to set the position of relative on the input wrapper class and we need to set the z index of 5 okay or whatever number which is has higher z index than the static okay and next what we need to do is we need to add transitions on our image so let's do that so transition and we are going to transition our transform property over the period of five seconds maybe two seconds okay and for the timing function we are going to use linear okay so that image will rotate on the same pace okay so that's the one thing we have fixed that issue with the z index so the another issue is if we move this slider rapidly we don't see any changes on our image okay so to fix that what we need to do is we need to add another event listener on our inputs so let's do that so let me copy this thing whole thing and let's add another event listener of mouse move okay so let me save that and let's check that out so as you can see even though i am moving this slider very fast our image is rotating by its value okay so that's it we are animating our image using these sliders okay so another thing i want to do is if we move this slider along i wanted to change the value of this labels also okay 
so to do that what we need to do is uh, we need to say this dot labels so all the labels associated with that particular input and in this case we have only one label for one input so let's select that first and only input and let's set the inner html to so we are going to use the same string here so first of all let's create this rotate string and then the this dot id okay and then again we are appending the string of opening round bracket plus this dot value and at last we are going to append the degrees and the closing round bracket okay so let me save that and let's see if even that working so as you can see that our labels value is also changes dynamically based on the value of this input okay so that's it guys i hope you have really enjoyed this video and if you do please click on that like button also share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos okay so that's it guys see you soon okay bye